What's going on, y'all? You are watching Joe Work TV, so stay tuned. All right, the topic for today is, okay, BET Awards just released their nominees or whatever for this year's 2010 awards show, and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to give you the nominees, and then we're going to discuss a couple of things. All right, let's get to it. All right, it. I'm going to be reading it off my computer screen because I didn't write it down, but the Viewer's Choice Awards, um, oh, excuse me, the Viewer's Choice nominees um, is Sweet Dreams, Empire State of Mind, Everything to Me, Hard, Say Ah, and Bedrock. Um, okay. That's a cool topic. That's a cool nominee little category. But um, I truly think um, Monica deserves this. The Viewer Choice Awards um, should go to her. It just should. I just feel like it should. Yep. Everything to me. All right. Next is Best Collaboration. Um, and that's Video Phone, Nothing on You, Successful, Forever, and Say I. You know, I don't even know why Video Phone is even in this category. I just don't even know. I mean, I know Lady Gaga and her did a video together, but I have no idea why it's even nominated. But anyway, um, I think, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to say nothing on you because I heard that song on the radio every single day. Like, I never... I never could drive in the car and not hear it. So I would definitely say nothing on you. Um, best female hip hop artist. This is a mess category. Why is Esther Dean in this category? I never heard her rap. Lil Kim, I've never heard her rap in about five years. Nicki Minaj, I know she's gonna win this. Um, and Rashida, I love you, but what have you came out with? Um, and Trina, Nah, I would definitely give this to Nicki Minaj. So, Nicki Minaj, congrats, because I know you're going to win. All right, next is Best Male Hip Hop Artist. And that's um, Bob ATL, um, no, B.O.B., um, Drake, um, who is my fabulous life? Who is that? I think that's, okay, I don't know who that is. Jay-Z and Luda. I think this should go to B.O.B., I just do. I just think it should go to him because he has worked so hard this year. Ludacris, you would be runner-up, but I think um, B.O.B. deserves it out of anybody. Um, best new artist? Okay. As, as I looked at this, I just was confused. Justin Bieber, what is he doing on this list? What is he doing on this list? That's all I'm going to say. Justin Bieber, Melanie, F Melanie Fiona, <laughs> Nicki Minaj, Will, and Young Money Sight. Um, which is, uh, I don't know. Um, Nicki Minaj, um, I think she should win this as, as well. I think she really deserves it. Um, she just has worked so hard this year. I mean, even though her single didn't rock it like everybody thought it would and massive attack on the charts, but you know what I'm saying? She still deserves credit and recognition, and I truly think she deserves that. Um, all right, let's see. Best female R&B artist. Okay, this is a little stupid. I never know Rihanna to sing an R&B song. I've never heard her sing R&B. Well, I have, but it has been like two albums ago. I've never heard her sing R&B, so I don't know why she's in this category. I'm telling you, BET. Okay, I'm going to say what I want to say at the end. Beyonce is nominated. Mary J. Blige, Melanie Fiona, Alicia Keys, and Rihanna. I think Alicia Keys should win this. I truly think Alicia Keys should win this. I mean, I know Melanie Fiona, she ain't won none yet for me, but I just don't think she deserves it, not yet. I think best female R&B should, should definitely go to Alicia Keys. Um, she sold a, a great amount of records, and um, I just truly, like I said, I love Alicia Keys so much because she inspires so many other artists. Like, I love that about her, and she really tries to do something different every single time that she's out. So I really think that she should win. Um, best male R&B artist, Chris Brown. Um, this is on Twitter, so I'm reading the Twitter names. It's Radio Raw. I don't know who that is. Maxwell, um, Trey Songz, and Usher. I think Usher should win this. I don't think Trey Songz should win this. Because just because he had all these different videos out, it was the same concept. Sex, sex, sex. So next, next, next. No. No. You know. No, and then I even thought about it. No, Usher deserves it. He came out with different songs. The songs were successful, and he sold a lot of records on his first week. So it should go to Usher, but I'm sure it's not. It's going to go to Trey Songz, of course. This is BET. This is bullshit entertainment. 
Um, P. Diddy is supposed to be performing. Um, Queen Latifah is hosting. I am so excited about her hosting. Like, I love Queen Latifah. I love, love, love Queen Latifah. And I just seen her movie, Just Right. It's awesome. Very, very great story. I love it. It's very relatable. Um, and video of the year. I'm going to do that one because the rest of them really. Um, video of the year. Wait. I thought I. I know they did not delete that. Wait a second. I thought I seen video of the year. Yeah. Video of the year. Video phone. Nothing on you. It kills me. Empire State of Mind and Run This Town. Now, if you sit back and think, what video really was very popular? I would say Empire State of Mind. Or It Kills Me. Well, no. Mm, it's between It Kills Me and Empire State of Mind. Run This Town, Run Nothing. I don't think so. Video phone. Wait, video phone? What? <sighs> okay. I think that's it. <laughs> It's a hot mess. Um, and that's basically it. And the performers are supposed to be Nicki Minaj um, and all those other folks. Um, um, the performers are P. Diddy, Trey Songz, Nicki Minaj, and Drake. So, okay. All of Young Money is basically performing, let's just say that. Um, I'm not excited about Diddy's performance. I mean, it's not. Um, I don't know. You know, this BET Awards, BET period, I'm not understanding y'all direction anymore. Um, and I'm just not clicking with it anymore. You know, it's not, a, excuse me, it's not a good representation of black people. I'm sorry. It's not a good rep representation, period. Um, and I'm just very embarrassed by this channel, like, right now, because I just feel like it can be so much better. BET has been an awesome channel, like, the past, like, the last 10 years. Well, five years back but 10 years before that if you get the gossip what I'm saying um it was just really great and I, I truly feel like BT is really doing a lot of wrong like they're making a lot of bad decisions um and it's not just with Sierra's video being banned it's just they're not making good marketing decisions but I'm just saying overall I'm not understanding their direction it does not make sense it's not adding up the um the categories the people that's nominated I don't think some of them should be nominated um, I just don't, and I'm not calling out any names, but it's a mess. I don't like this, this year's BT Awards. I just don't. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Um, and I hope you guys stay subscribed to Joe Work TV. Um, we have a lot of fun on here, you know what I'm saying? We do a lot. We dance, we sing, we model, we do some everything. So, make sure you guys stay tuned on Joe Work TV. A lot of great projects are coming up. So, um, leave, leave a video response. So, leave a comment, um, like or dislike this video. Um, or save it as a favorite. Either one of those. Alright, shout it. Who you think gonna win? Who you think gonna really win in mug? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Who? Who what? Who? What? I can do it circles Do it mama gymnast This ring is my circus I market it so good They can't wait to try So good. <laughs> Many's house for a man.